Oh my gosh. It is so hot and uncomfortable, I can't even tell you. But, I think what I'm going to do is take the Huffy Thunderboard inside and work on it a little bit. So, the original wheels with the open face bearings are fine. Like, I am not even going to oil these things. I believe whoever owned this um, kept it house stored. I don't think it was left in a garage. The only problem is, if you might notice, the back wheels are slightly off kilter. So it's the truck. The truck is like slightly off centered. Um, but I can see the problem and I can fix the problem. So I can do that, no issue at all. And if you compare it to, cause you know, I don't do a penny board. Would I have a penny board? Sure, give me one, but I'm not paying for one. So my Kryptonics deck and board compared to the 1970s Huffy Thunderboard. Uh, you see the wheelbase is the same, nose is a little bit longer, and the tail is slightly longer. That's it. They're the same width, and if you see on the Kryptonics, I, c I don't know what you call this, I call it ribs. So um, the Kryptonics is made to flex a little bit, with your weight and I weigh in at 170 so I get a little bit of flex and I like that um, when I just stood because I have not ridden this thing yet I am really sort of afraid of the open-faced wheels I think they're really fast I think they're faster than what I'm used to um, and I have that problem with my uh, childhood Duraflex a little bit scared of them so yeah, I think I'm going to work on the 24-inch uh, Huffy Thunderboard today. I would really like to be riding the Coyote 3. It is just too hot. It's unbearable. I just, I can't stand it. So, that's what I've got going on for today. Okay, thanks.